What is up, YouTube or podcast land, whoever ends up listening or watching this? Everyone's going to be listening to this. What are you talking about? Apologies oh. in advance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think by now everybody knows who I am and I've talked myself to death on multiple videos and podcasts. So I'm going to let my good friends here introduce themselves and I'll start right With here. With me, Chris Dawson. I'm a drum legend. <laughs> yeah, God. No, it, it, We're off to it, a good it, start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah don't, okay, I'll, I'll bring it down a little bit. You know, just in... in comedian. Yeah, <laughs> drum, drum yeah. comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that... Uh, yeah, I'm a drum legend in my own drum room in my studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've got a nice mirror in there and all that sort of stuff. It looks good. I look great, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, yeah, look, and I, you know, do a bit of a pose. No, I, so I'm Chris Dawson. I'm a drum teacher forever. Um, uh, goodness, I don't know how many years now. Well over 20. That's a long time. I'm old. Worth, <laughs> worth noting that you also taught... Dan and I. That's yeah. true. That is correct. Amongst yeah. other working players uh, yes, on the scene. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. For, for many problems in Auckland. <laughs> Inappropriate humor, yeah, that's teaching right. drums. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, and uh, um, I teach a lot of high schools, um, you know, a lot of private teaching. Um, and I've just started off a lovely drum, a kid drum business, which is quite cool. With, um, Flying buckets. along. And yeah, it's going great. Yeah. So it's going to be all for um, drum line based sort of stuff. So yep. yeah, it's pretty, pretty and amazing. And masters in jazz performance? Oh, there, yeah, I, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah. Masters and okay. uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah, I, I've got it in my back pocket. Would you like to see my <laughs> now, credentials? <laughs> if I do, you know, bring up anything, you know, embarrassing like that, it's just, just to let you know that there's actually a div diverse... That's right. Range yes. of things going on here. For so sure. it's not all coming from one one yes. sort of angle. Yes. I'm supposed to be learned. You yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah. Supposedly. And, I know, think I'd go along with that. With, with, Masters with, in jazz performance. And, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 yeah. I'm learned. And so you're, <laughs> it's yeah. my new name. You're, you're learned. Hi. I'm, my name's learned. Your opinion does carry <laughs> a, a degree of weight. That's right. Oh, exactly. A master's of yes, a master's. Yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely, definitely one of the go-to teachers. I think, oh, without thank you. jokes aside, I mean, one of the go-to tutors for the last couple of decades, probably. Goodness, without inflating his head any larger than it needs to be. Yeah, think, gosh, you know, he's he's the man. Yeah, but certainly looking around, um, working drummers, particularly in Auckland, there is a lot of people who've gone to Chris for specific specific advice or help, mm. whether it's like learning with him for an extended period or just a couple of one-offs mm. you know he's um no he's he's been incredibly influential in working drummers and yeah the real players yeah the real in, deal in terms wow. of working drummers so guys who are actually out there and playing <coughs> and making money from doing such and also working with kids and That's right. everything in between yeah, oh, yeah. I, it's like now yeah, I can't yeah. speak now. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to thank the academy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh sorry. We didn't okay. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> yes. To do. <laughs> yes, my name is Dan Clayton. Um, I've been playing for over twenty years at this point, and um, I don't teach. Don't teach anymore because I just I do not have the time or the or the patience anymore. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm a uh, working working drummer. Um, I've been in a professional context, I guess, for about 15 years plus. So mm. started out pretty young as a, as a young fella. Don't tell the Inland Revenue Department. That's right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they don't watch this. No, no. Fine, you know, if they are watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, out, out and about in the scene, literally played, you know, I've Tons, tons, hundreds, probably thousands of gigs yeah. at this point. Mm. Um, working cover bands, touring up and down the country in metal bands, theatre stuff, um, soul, funk, blues, rockabilly, like every everything in between. Any mm. ev every conceivable gig that you probably think of, whether it's on a farm in Matter Matter or <laughs> in a in a big theatre situation mm. or a, or a corporate or fancy weddings, little weddings, every everything in between. So. Mm. Um, I do work a work a nine to five now, um, albeit um, there has been certainly a couple of three times in my life where my drumming has been um, definitely at the forefront of um, not only my, my life but also my, my working life. Mm -hmm. yep. so, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and cool. I guess to tie it together a little bit for anyone who's watching, we all taught 
at a place called Drum City, which was a mm-hmm. legendary drum school here in nice. Auckland. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't think legendary would be overstating it either. It was, a, no. it was a real special sort of hangout place as well with a retail store and then a drum school mm. up above it. And um, so we sort of got to know each other Pretty there, much, I think. Yeah, and right. yeah. I got lessons there with Chris and mm. a few other teachers. And um, yeah, obviously there, there's a lot of playing here. There's a lot of different styles. I went to jazz school, the same course that Chris did. Mm. I didn't do masters. Why not? I scraped. I yeah. I aced my um, yeah, that's right. degree. That's right. Aced it. And then ran away. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's really important with something that we're going to try and do, which is, I guess, pull the curtain back a little bit mm. on our private conversations, conversations our, yeah. our message yeah. group that we have on Messenger mm. and, and just when we get together and grab a coffee or chat, mm. however it is, we always end up talking about this stuff. We think it's interesting. Yeah. It's going to Hope be you guys yeah. enjoy it. Our first myth or potential myth, you're welcome to hit us in the comments section and disagree and complain. What's your email <laughs> for the complaints? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we really want to hit talent as teachers, as players, what we see with students on social media, the word talent, mm. gifts, these mm. kind of words pop up. And we went to Chris first for mm. the intros. Mm. Let's jump to Dan. Mm. Take it away. Talent. Is it a myth? What's your view? I think it's a myth in terms of, I think talent is a word that is often misappropriated or misused. Um, a lot of the time, if you're reading, um, sort of social media comment sections and you'll see it might be a video of a drummer who's killing it oh my god they're so talented it is you know or it might be oh you're just a natural <laughs> now in my humble experience of um teaching and playing and all of that side of things that sort of natural inclination of someone's just given chops or someone's just being bestowed ability to to play this instrument and absolutely kill it at that extremely high level <laughs> talent has very little to do with it yeah. in that sense mm. um I, I do believe that some people do have a more of a natural inclination than others but i think that is largely due to the environment that they actually grow up with them mm-hmm. you know yeah, which sure. which makes it not talent which, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which, in, in terms of, you know, talent being something which is just magical and some people have it and some mm. people don't, that just blows all of that away. Yeah. That just blows that completely out the window. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, you're right with the, the, the word talent as well. I think people, they don't use it correctly. It's like, or maybe we're thinking of talent as, a, as the wrong sort of way. You know, thinking. Are we of, taking it too literally? Maybe. Maybe it's like, like if we think of talent as like, when I when I think of people talking about you you've got talent, in my mind straight away I'm thinking that they believe that this person is gifted, you know, and they didn't work for and it, and that they didn't work mm. for it or something like mm-hmm. that. But you know, I have heard it used in "You are talented," um, or like say Prince, for instance. Mm. Prince is talented, and you can't deny that he's amazing, mm. or he was amazing. Yeah, just, but um, but but it wasn't a natural gift. Or anything like that. He worked no, he really, really worked hard. As, worked as exactly, yeah. So it's not like, um, yeah. I think that word sometimes just gets used in the wrong place, sort of wrong context, sort of thing. Mm. Maybe it just irks me or something like that. I get irked, you know. I suppose, <laughs> it, well, I suppose that is a thing. I guess for myself, where you know, if you're ever lucky enough to, to to actually be in the situation where someone says, "Oh, you're so talented," it used to really annoy me because when I started out playing drums. I was terrible. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was, I was absolutely. Mm. You know, I'm not saying that I'm king. I'm far from it, mm. you know, but I'm self-aware enough to actually know, hey, where I guess some of my gaps are and the work that's actually required to actually fill those. Mm-hmm. So it's when someone comes along and sort of says, oh, you're talented. It's like, oh, it's yeah. kind of downselling the work that's actually yeah. been done because that mm. that is a big, big thing. Yeah. I think it's important to say, like, <laughs> I think get a lot of people 
winding up after a gig and saying, wow, you're so talented. But on, <laughs> neither, on the, neither. I want to, yeah. I want to clarify. Yeah. This doesn't happen. <laughs> this on the happen. odd occasion <laughs> where, you know, it might be a family friend or just or a friend who's a civilian, mm-hmm. who's not a musician, and they say, man, but you've got the talent or, or some, something like that pops mm-hmm. up and you just think, like, there's, there's just an element of they don't understand how this works, mm-hmm. which is what we're going to be getting into mm-hmm. over the next couple mm-hmm. of discussions and videos mm. of it looks like a magic trick yeah mm. if you're if you're up there you know I'm particularly thinking about you dan you know you, some of your shred videos have gone viral mm. and mm. you're spinning sticks and you're playing ridiculously fast mm. and when that just washes over someone who doesn't who's not at that level mm. they mm. they don't know the steps no. involved mm. yeah. so it just looks like it's a magic trick yeah mm. how, it's just- how are you doing all that yeah. But they haven't seen it's that mm. old iceberg analogy. Yeah, we've all seen that yeah. meme. Yeah, completely. exactly. You know the the works here, yeah. and you, you've just seen this little yeah, device. little bit it's of just the top. a little, yeah. little yeah, sprinkle. Exactly. But yeah. ultimately, I mean, if you're looking at take like a shred video or or that sort of thing, it might be thirty seconds of just mm. chops and sixty fourth notes all around the kit, and mm. hopefully, hopefully, it's nice and clean, and it makes mm. some form of musical mm. sense. Because otherwise, what's the point, right? Mm. Um, but you're looking at something, you're looking at 30 seconds of which there's literally been thousands and thousands of hours mm. go mm. into that, mm. you know? And I think like from a personal perspective, if I'm to sort of quantify that and actually pull the cover back a little bit, mm. I'll be looking at like three to four hours a day for 15 years, mm. like Absolutely. every single day. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know where the line is drawn between your talented and, and the work. Like mm. it's impossible to talk about this. We don't know your background. Mm. I mean, we know you've mm. got a musical background with your sure. family and everything. Mm. Mm. So then someone's watching you doesn't know that. Mm. Mm. Whereas perhaps someone does put in the same hours as you mm. from a cold start and they don't get to that. Mm. Oh, you're talented. Mm. Where it, no, no, no. Mm. I've got the background. Mm. We had music in the family. You know, yeah. there's just way too many things mm. here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I always think of like, like an analogy of like a, a tree sort of thing, you know, so you've got a tree and you've got like um, all the branches coming off there and it doesn't matter what happens, the branches are going in lots of different directions, you know, it may come to a wall and then the, you sort of go into different areas and all that sort of stuff. So talent, you, you can't sort of just say, you know, that person is talented and this person is not talented or something like that, even though they might be on st- on the same tree sort of thing, mm. you know, because you don't know what their life was, you know, I mean, how many things change things in your life, you know, like mm. directions that you're going to go in, yeah. you know, and you've heard so many times of like, um, you know, in, in, in the music industry, at least and probably in any art form, you know, you're, you're, somebody is really, really amazing and um, they don't get anything, you know, so are they talented, mm. <laughs> you know, or is it the person that got known, are they talented? You know, mm. sort of thing. So, but they're still part of the same thing. So it's like, yeah, it just doesn't doesn't make sense to me. I think there's also an element of luck mm. when it comes to oh, fame. Absolutely, and yeah. good on an, good on an instrument yeah. and mm. famous mm. Is, are two different things. That's right. Mm. And I know the three of us. We've never wanted mm. fame. We've mm. always looked at it as no. working players. Mm. Um, so there's that side of it too. Just a little bit of luck thrown in. And mm. I was just thinking actually when I had Dylan Elise on the podcast mm. who. I would say without a doubt would be New Zealand's most talented. Yeah. Everybody mm. would say he's New yeah. Zealand's most talented drummer. Sure. And he's a fantastic drummer. I'm not saying Dylan's not a great drummer. It's a great mm. drummer. Amazing. But I want to play. Mm. Remember, he said on the podcast, I asked him specifically the mm. question, how long did you practice the drums for? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he was <out>. he said, <laughs> at high school. Now, now, think about this. At high school, he practiced the drums for 12 hours a day. At, at high school. I mean, that's, it's, it's, yeah. That's, that's that's cool. talent. It's a, large amount, <laughs> it's a large amount of work for someone who's naturally gifted. Yeah, yeah that's right. Exactly. <laughs> but people are still going to see him play mm. and they'll know that he's he practiced for 12 hours a day as, as a kid mm. and say, yeah, but he's also talented. Yeah. And it's like, hold on. Yeah, wait, yeah. wait, Pump wait. the brakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, you can't <laughs> just say this anymore. Mm. It's, it's almost yeah. impossible to sort of quantify that struggle, eh? Yeah. It's yeah. like, if you see a, if you see a, Dylan video or a shred video or whatever it is, you know, something quick or something that makes you prick up your ear and go, ooh, talent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's actually breaking that down and going, you know, which is obviously fantastic from a teaching perspective because certainly in lessons, you know, you can show, you know, um, 
students what what a single stroke role can become. Mm, you know, sure. just for for example, mm. this is what it can become. Mm. This is where I started. Da, 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 yeah, da, yeah. Da, I remember those with days. a click. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh my you God. know, paradiddle. Remember the paradiddle? Like, yeah. oh, I, I could play a paradiddle maybe three times in a row, and then yeah. I just the sticking would go a wall. And yeah. it's like, and oh then you've got to do this again. Yeah. Left, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really slow. So uneven. You know, maybe you've got like two different size sticks or something mm. like that. Mm. Or, you know, you're playing on some really old dunger of a piece of instrument or you know, like your old practice pad or a pillow or, a, or some of those rubber mats or something like that yeah, you're playing yeah. on, you know. But you start with that. I think yeah. Everyone does. I don't know. Oh, I mean, there's probably a few students that have come across where their parents have been quite well off mm. and they've bought them all the things yeah. right at the beginning, you know. And um, But then, you know, maybe their parents are hoping that they've got talent or something like that. I don't know, you know. <laughs> if I'll give them all the perfect things, then, yeah, then they will, you know. Yeah. But, you know, comparatively to, for me anyway, it's like I, you know, bought a really dunger of a drum kit sort of thing. And then, you know, and it just, it was the, the passion that leads you to practice, you know, and then mm. that feeling of getting better. You know, What's that's like earning it, right? Yeah, it's, it is it's earning yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, for me, I can remember one of my practice things because I practiced a lot when I was, you know, in my younger days, and um, and I can remember going somewhere and feeling guilty because I wasn't practicing, and then I thought mm. yeah, that, that, yeah, that yeah, other people were out so practicing what? right now mm -hmm. and they're getting better than me, mm -hmm. and so and because so I felt oh I needed to go back and practice, and that mm. drive maybe that's what talent is. I don't know, maybe talent is the drive, but I don't think so yeah. because you can have it in any area. It's like it, that's passion, I think, mm. more mm. than anything. I've got students who are really good, mm. who need no help from me, really, other than mm. being a mentor or someone there just to keep them on the tracks. Yeah. Yep. Mm. I've got other students who don't practice and who just come and have a lot of fun mm. and the progress is really slow. Yes. Now, if you took those groups of students and you showed someone who didn't know anything about drums or music, mm. you know, these, these students play, mm. the really good ones who yep. are self-motivated and yeah. so into it. Mm. And then you show them the other ones and you said, well, they've been playing for the same amount of time. Mm. Mm. That, you know, they could make a couple of assumptions. They could, they could say, well, you know, their teacher wasn't very good. Yeah, yeah. Well, their teacher's really good, mm. or those ones are talented, mm. or those aren't. Mm. This is yeah. just simply not how this works. No, no, no. no. I can't practice for a student. No. no. 30 minutes a week yeah. is not enough right. to yeah. become a professional drummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those students, the, the really good ones that I've got, and I've got some fantastic students, they can't get off the kit. Mm. Mm sticks in the hand all the time, yep. tapping things all the time, just like we Constant. were constantly, I mean, this, you know. Like, to, mm. to your point, like talking about feeling that anxiety around yep. not practicing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huge. That is massive, yeah. yeah. Huge. Exactly. Yeah. Like mm. that was, I, I remember being like, I started when I was 13, mm. right? And I'm a little bit older now. <laughs> um, <laughs> as he turns 30, 34 this year. <laughs> That's why I'm sitting this way, so that you can't see the ball patch. Yeah, hopefully. My good side. Yeah. Hopefully. Hit us in the comments if you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get some of that brown stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the lighting's positioned yeah. that way for, for <laughs> to, to avoid shading and whatnot. Um, I forgot what the hell I was going to say. Um, practice, practice anxiety. So, you know, I remember being like 13 and thinking, holy shit, I have to put this time in, mm -hmm. you know. Again, this was coming from, I came from a musical family. I've been singing since I was three years old. I understood that not everyone just sort of gets it just instantly, mm -hmm. you know. The time between like being terrible and actually being, pretty passably good. The mm. difference between those two points mm. is just a time investment and actually yeah. putting mm. the work in. Mm. But crucially, the passion is what will drive you to actually keep doing yeah, that. Absolutely. Once yeah. you start seeing a little bit of progress, it's mm. like it's like having a personal trainer in the gym. gym right? or something like that. Yeah, you start exactly. seeing a little bit of process, you, you, you progress, progress, you start seeing a little, of, like, yeah, exactly. wait a minute, a rear delt's coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to train some more shoulders. Or even just yeah. simple weight loss or something like that. You know, yeah, like, completely. Because, you know, and, and it always... I think most people seem to understand that there's that that growth period or that period when nothing happens. Mm. You know, you're you're doing something. You're just slaving and, away, and, and then you can't see any 
any mm. progress at all. Mm. It's, it's really, really Why absolutely. Why are you looking at me when you say that? Well, you know, <laughs> I just, you know, I'm just, you know, I was, I was actually looking over there. But you, you, <laughs> I can see you just, looking at me yeah, in the mirror. Yeah, just, like, <laughs> just give him a little try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely you sort of, um, you know, it, it, it takes a while before you notice the difference. Mm -hmm. You know, other people notice the difference pretty quickly. You know, mm -hmm. they go, you know, um, say if it's a weight thing or, a, you know, muscle thing or even playing or something like that. I, I can even remember, like, uh, for myself, playing with a band and and them sort of being a little bit, oh, you know, your groove's not quite good enough or something like that. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just, it wasn't said, it was just like a, a, a maybe a feeling or something like that. So. Yep. And I was aware of this, so I just went away. And just for the next week, I just practiced groove. Just yeah. and I'd do it like because I had a lot of time, and I was practicing a lot. I'd do like maybe two or three hours just on groove, just mm. where I'm just playing one beat for that whole entire time, and I don't change, don't change the speed, don't change any yep. anything. No hi hat lifts, no nothing. Just the I choose a groove and I stick to it. And within that week, or in the two weeks, I can't remember what it is, they noticed the difference. Mm. Yeah. And it's like, but I didn't. Mm. I was like going, yeah, yep. I, I feel mm. like I'm still playing the exact same way as what I did before. Mm. But they noticed the difference and I was going, huh, this is that. And oh, it was yep. such a short space of time, mm. you know, and, and so and that wasn't talent. It was just. You know, it was I had just, a yeah. very similar situation mm. with, I was playing in an originals band when I first started going to uni mm. and nothing kicks your butt like uni, full yeah. immersion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we hadn't had a rehearsal for a month or two and I just started the course and then we did a rehearsal with the group oh, and the whole no, band. No, not my time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not but the whole not band was just like, yeah. what? What's yeah. going on? Yeah. Um, mm. and, I was, and I felt worse because right. I'd been at uni for two months getting sure. my mm. butt yeah. kicked. Mm. Um, and I was just thinking, huh? And they just said, whoa, like, this yeah. is completely different, man. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. What, something's working. Yeah. Mm. I was like, oh, okay. It's cool. that, hard that, work works. Yeah, it's, mm. the, it's the pressure. You're in this, like when you're there, you're you're pushing yourself and mm. you're always under pressure. And that thing about practice or any of those things is that you suck all the time because you're doing the things mm. you can't do yeah. all the time. Yep. Mm. And that's a, a sort of big negative, you know, as mm. far as our self-esteem is concerned because it doesn't matter what you do, you suck at it. Mm. <laughs> so, but then if you, you know, you get to that point where it starts to become easier and then maybe you move on to the next thing or whatever it is. But mm. that pressure is like what it is. It's not like, you know, I definitely didn't have any talent when I started. You know, I was, was, no. was sat down and I was the same as most people. I barely could play a beat. You know, I had no idea about, you know, my hand technique or anything like that. I, you know, I probably, I can remember playing along to, I was a, I was a big U2 fan and, and I thought that, I think um, the band had started off when they were really, really young, maybe when they were 14. I think their first mm. album came out. And I was like, I started playing when I was 18. So I was going, well, I'm 18. He's 14. <laughs> I should be better. I should be better <laughs> than am, him. I am superior. Yeah. <laughs> I am superior because I am older. And so then I tried to play one of their songs and it was quite a fast um, double handed 16th note beat. Mm. And I could only do the intro. <laughs> and then I would just stop. And it took months for me to gradually build that up to the point where I was actually able to play the whole song. Mm. But it was that perseverance. It's that, you know, it's just, I no, not talent. No. This might come no. up again when we get to, because I think we're going to talk about teachers, mm. teaching this. I have a theory that you actually become a better teacher if you don't have any natural inclination at all sure. for the instrument because you yeah. literally have mm. to learn everything That's right. from scratch. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, totally. I was the same. Yeah. I, I started at zero. Mm. I didn't even do music at high school, mm. nothing. Mm. So I had to literally learn everything. So when I've got a student here who is just completely like overwhelmed, mm. I know what that's like. Mm. That's right. Now, if you're, I don't know, if you're, if you're someone who can just jump on a kit, maybe you don't read music, but you, you can just play. Mm. It was in your family environment and you, you just know how to play a beat. Yeah. How are you going to teach from multiple angles? That's right. Because you, yeah. you, you learned one way. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Whereas we had to go through a really different way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> process. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's right. Yeah. It, well, there is that, you know, with that, the, the, that uh, the idea of talent as well, you know, if you're if you're surrounded by something, whatever it may be, then you're definitely going mm. like much like you know you, you with your singing and stuff like that. Mm. It's like, it was around, mm. and so you have 
um, you have certain things that you're able to call upon you know yeah. uh, easily enough and it's it's also um you know as as a, as a kid you can you definitely see things and you internalize it and Absolutely. you think about things you know so mm. sitting down if like if it was say drums again so if you sat down if you always so you're watching your parents play their instrument then you can see the physicality of it you can see the way that they're yeah. moving mm. and then you just jump up and do it like uh, like mm. uh, for instance it's monkey see monkey do exactly yeah just- so you just get up and you can sort of you know what it is and it's quicker because you've seen someone do it not just once or twice. You see it mm. over and over and over and over and over again. Completely. I mean, you know. Tiger Woods or Williams. Mm. That's right. Exactly. Sisters. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that was, my boy's 13 months old mm. and he can hold the sticks yeah. with his thumbs up. Probably. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. Just, yeah. And it's like, he, he just wails away. I mean, mm. he's 13 months old. He's, yeah. You know, that's right. despite, we hope that he'll be the next Tony Royce. That's <laughs> right. Exactly. But because uh, let's be honest, we're yeah. not doing the nine to five forever. <laughs> 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 but uh, my, I'm like a good manager. Already. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but um, no, I mean, it's, it's, and he can like stamp in time yep. because he sees dad. And any time I jump on my like practice kit at home, mm. he's there. Right. Like yeah. he loves it. Comes screaming down the hallway. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, it's not going to be like a thousand miles away to think that, hey, maybe Richie might be a drummer yeah. at some stage. Or he if might he not, is, right? but or yeah. if he's not, that's, that's right. all good as well. Mm. You know, that's all good. We'll find something else that he'll be a, a world beater at. <laughs> that's right. But, but he um, will instinctively know even that that motion mm. creates that sound. Exactly. Completely. And, oh, on the record. Yeah. Mm. That, that is, is that bit exactly yeah 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 dun, dun, ah yeah, exactly. and the clap is the snare that's right mm. that I mm. mean just think you could get that as a, as a baby yeah mm. or you could come in here as a young child at mm. eight or at fifty mm. and you don't know that no not at all so you're even so just far like, behind the apple it's, it's even just things like you will put music on and if it's something that he's really into he'll sit there and. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bounce, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. Now, anyone who's ever played in a pub can tell you that there is people that do not <laughs> feel <laughs> oh music. God. Yeah. Like, just cannot feel the it. The one and three way. clappers. Completely. Yeah, that's right. It's just like the whole yeah. room is. Yeah. And this guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you, where, where are exactly, you from? Exactly. <laughs> like, can yeah. you see that you're different? Yeah. You know. Yeah. But they don't. They don't. They don't see it. They don't even. They don't. No. And that's, it out. and that's maybe right. they're or they don't know. have talent. Yeah. Yeah. That's Must right. be. Yeah, exactly. Maybe they're that's talented at golf. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. I mean, just imagine though, if you were, if you were, um, uh, in some other thing, maybe it was that you were just immersed in one thing, golf. Say, mm. then you're not going to be good at drums. You know, you're not going to, well, you're not going to have this innate sort of amount of just jumping in and just starting to play drums because mm. you've been playing golf your whole life. Yeah. You know? And it's, it's not a transferable skill. Yeah. No. It's not, like, it's not like, okay, I'm good at <laughs> this, so therefore I'm good at that. It's like, I mean, there, you can sort of see mm. in sports, there's a bunch of people that are quite good at like similar sports because, you know, they've got maybe well, it's hand a hand-eye coordination hand eye. is, is, is partially, you yeah, know. Fitness, exactly, yeah. So, yeah. Bec- But they've worked on that. It's not like, mm. you know, there was one of the other things I think about talent as well, and I always talk about people with, they go, you're naturally talented or naturally gifted. I'm going, so, okay, a baby pops out, you know, as they do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so simple. I'm so simple. I'm glad you guys pre-planned that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was, that's good. Yeah, we rehearsed. That's right, yeah. And this baby is now talented at uh, a real physical thing let's put it in rugby you're you are talented at rugby you're amazing at it so now mm. you can go play with the all blacks because you're talented but wait a minute you're a baby you're the size of the rugby ball how's this going to work it doesn't work it's it's not and so what's going to happen this person now has to get bigger they have mm. to train they have to put so much effort into it because maybe their body isn't going to be large you know, but they really like rugby or something like that. Or And so now they're going to have to gain weight. They're going to have to go to the gym. They're going to have to do – this is not mm. talent. This mm. is just like, you know, this is like I've got this super huge drive because my dad, my uncle, my, mm. you know, yeah. whatever, is yeah, so into you. into rugby and, 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 it, and it's, it's the thing that I'm going to do. So, mm. um, you know, there are, of course, like for me, I, there's no one in my family that's musical. And I don't know why mm. I went to drums. But I just no, I'm the same. Yeah, I, yep. I just I just yep. did. At the same time, there's probably there's probably a drive within that. Absolutely, actually, yeah. like mm-hmm. I've got nothing. Like 
it's almost like I've got nothing going my way in terms of natural surroundings and you environment and looking? all that. Well, I mean, <laughs> nothing going my you know, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't saying the, that. The, model, the modeling career. Yeah, model, I was. Yeah, I was going <laughs> yeah, to. I, I tried to be a hand model. The pandemic has my finger. So. The pandemic hasn't been kind. Yeah. But I think the other thing, like we've been around for a combined, you know, three hundred de- years, decades, years. decades yes. of this, <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of students, and mm-hmm. we know all the great players locally. Yeah, mm-hmm. without a doubt, mm. it's time on the kit. There's zero shortcut. Um, when I, just before Drum City closed down, mm. Tobik, Adam Tobik yes. was uh, next to me, an uh, amazing player, one of the f- first call players. Yeah, he's great. Student of yours. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. First call player in Auckland mm-hmm. and New Zealand. Mm-hmm. And he, was, he wasn't teaching a lot, but he was practicing a lot and playing in yeah. his room. And I, would, I was teaching a lot. I would have parents, students in and out the whole time. Every parent would comment, he's talented. Wow. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm. He's talented. And I just think, I w- what I wanted to say was, have you noticed every time you come here, he's playing? Every single time. Every time. Every time you there. come, he's playing. Mm. <laughs> Why is it. that? That's the end mm. of the argument. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and every time all my students turn up, he's playing. Mm. So he's another Dylan Elisa. He's mm. he's talented drummer. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about the practice? Yeah, and that's and that's not like that's not like he's just sort of playing every time you turn up at four fifteen on a Wednesday. No. Like we'd be we had this really awesome culture at, at Drum City where there was like there was always there was always teachers there was always lessons going on there was always drums happening, yeah. and there was like certain guys who were always there. Mm. Tobik was always there. Always there. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and he'd be there. I'd, you were one of those guys. He was mm-hmm. one of those. Yeah, guys. I was. He was I was. There all yeah, the time. I was there. So basically, you could th- sort of think it was generations of, of yeah. you mm. know, because I think that all of, so there was Michael Franklin Brown and Jasper Derues and myself and Tala, you know, Tala Ufamuni was, I think he was mm. still there with, with you guys. Yeah. Alex Samiti. Um, I can't remember who else was there at the time with us. Ben, Ben, ben that's right. And, and Chris Harford. Yeah. So, yeah. and we were, we were that generation and I think. A lot of our students took over the rooms after yeah, we were gone. That's right. You know? Yeah, right. And um, and so and it continued. Well, sort of like me and Tobit came in at the same time. Yes, that's right. Around yeah. 20, 2009, 2010, mm. somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah. I think, mm. in the in the end, like it's not like we're getting really worked up about this topic. It's just a bit unfortunate that you know a parent might be waiting to purchase a drum kit to see if they're talented, mm. or you see drummers and students blaming non-progress yeah, or yeah, mm, yeah. or not being th- as good as they thought they were going to be on the mm. drums on the lack of talent. Yeah. I think that's what we're essentially getting at here. Isn't it, it is. It? It's, it's, and it's so frustrating when you can see someone, like for me, I feel like the majority of people will be able to play. I think yeah. that we're all coordinated. You yeah. know, you see, we walk down the street, we walk and we talk, we do things with our hands, you know, while we're driving, walking, driving. Yeah, we, if we, you can drive a manual car, you can yeah, most it's, certainly play exactly. a drum set. Yeah, yes. I mean, and, and so I feel that pretty much most people will be able to play if they want to play. Mm. But the amount of times that you do see a younger person come in or even, no, actually that's not, even an older person, they still have that idea of this. Yeah this uh, ability it's like you know the easy you know 10 easy steps and i'll become whatever it is you know mm. I, I was actually thinking about those 10 easy steps so i foolishly did that very same thing when i went to australia and bought a didgeridoo and uh, <laughs> and, and then there was a, a, a cd and it says learn to play didgeridoo and i thought okay so you thought that's a bit of myth. Yeah, exactly. The neighbourhood's not sitting <laughs> yeah, there drumming. So, exactly. So exactly. Maybe this will yeah. get rid of them. They're going to yeah. get it. Yeah, so yeah, get, get this thing, and then I, I and then I can remem- remember like putting the CD on, and instantly, as soon as I put the CD on, I was going, "What an idiot! Mm. What did you? Did I think that I was going to be able to put on the CD, and he <laughs> was going to say, Purse your lips like this,' and then all of a sudden, <laughs> I was playing the didgeridoo? No." It doesn't work like that. So, no. and so, and so, it's the same with the amount of times you see that student. They come in and and you go, you're starting to get it. You're starting to get it, and then mm. they stop, or you know, because you know those first few lessons, they're so into it because it's mm. like this thing they can you can teach them to and play the a beat. Curve yeah. is just really steep. Yeah, goes yeah. 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 yeah, and all of a sudden they hit that first plateau. Hit that wall, and and then they go, 
I'm going to stop because I'm not talented. Mm. And, and, you know, or it might be something that maybe they have to play in front of somebody and then they feel inadequate or whatever it is. Mm. Maybe that could be one of the, the things as well. But certainly that's the frustrating thing about the talent side of things. And, you know, before you were sort of saying that, you know, not getting wound up, but sometimes I think I do get wound up about it. You know, when, when, when somebody says a talent thing, mm. my heckles go up straight away and I go, mm. <laughs> and I feel like I want to really tell them about it but then you get into the whole things and then always but what about you know and then they'll, they'll be on oh, YouTube they'll cite, they'll and, they'll, and they'll, 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 they've seen some young child play something yeah. you know and there's I mean there are thousands of young mm. kids doing really really good things on many things you know mm. Mm. Um, and um, look out for a particular 13 month old coming yeah. to a screen <laughs> here shortly but age yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're uh, looking at age yeah. and thinking of themselves at that age. Or, yeah, mm. that's right. Like you could be twelve and have been playing the drum since you were two. That's right. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Like or be age, fifty and having played for one year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Age and even like, I think we might have touched on this on the um, previous podcast mm. ep- episode. Is like time spent owning a drum set is just <laughs> so <laughs> irrelevant. Yeah. Completely I've been playing irrelevant. drums for fifty years. Oh, so, yeah. so, but you can't play a rock beat. <laughs> <laughs> but. What have you been doing in those 50 years? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I, I've had a picture of a drum kit up on my wall mm, so, yeah. Yeah, or something like Look that. Although we, both, <laughs> we both said at the start of this video that we were, that we'd both played for 20 plus years. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, it's just like, but in our defense, yeah, yes. it's like there is plenty of content out there. Yeah. I mean, you type yeah. my name in and you can make up your own mind as to whether I can play maybe, or not. Maybe Ooh. not lots of content of me because I sort of sit in a room and- They, you know, they blocked you. Oh, they they, they did, but that was the, the yeah, that oh, incident. God. But That's anyway, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You didn't think, have any pants yeah. on. I think we're going to have to wrap it up yeah. there because we have more stuff to get into. You are welcome to hit us in the comments and let us know if you agree, disagree. Mm. I mean, I think we're in total agreement on this. Yeah. Like, mm. it's just a thing we've witnessed it ourselves. Mm. And um, we will be moving on to the next topic, which is something that I don't know what it is yet. We're going to make it up. <laughs> We're going to just make it up. We'll just make yeah. something up. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you then. Yeah. <laughs>